everybody, this is Eve Brock here with Eve Brock's Florida Realty, and oh my gosh, do I have a deal for you. I have talked with the seller, we've decided that we're going to make this home available to somebody with zero, 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 zero out of pocket. This is very unusual. Um, we've got financing lined up with uh, my lender, her name is Beth Cherry. I've got her information. Um, on the post there, you can call her and get pre-approved. This house is going to be open to the public this Sunday from 11 o'clock to noon, so you have an opportunity to come check it out right away. I would suggest getting pre-approved prior. You don't have to have super amazing credit, but they do have some debt to income things that they look out for, so go ahead and get pre-approved today. If this house doesn't work, that's okay. I have more houses um, that we do this with every now and then that will come up in the future um, that you'll be able to get something worked out on and at least have a game plan. This is a new year coming up, guys. January 1st is just around the corner. This is when people make goals. And if you've been renting or you're living in a poopy house, make this your goal. This is going to be the time. I've got fantastic interest rates, I've got an amazing lender to get you lined up, and I have the perfect house. I chose this house because when, when folks don't have a lot of cash to put down on something, they don't need a roof that needs to be replaced as well, they don't need to have a lot of repairs, and this house has been well cared for, got a brand spanking new roof on it, it's, it's a little bit on the newer side, it's got tile floors and the living room and the kitchen. Um, it, it's in good shape and I think that this will make a perfect property for somebody just starting out or possibly even a snowbird. Um, the payment on this one is going to be incredible. We're under $800 a month including your taxes and in your insurance. Guys, zero down and under $800 a month. You can't rent a three bedroom, two bath for that kind of money. This is an opportunity that doesn't come along very often, so please take advantage of it. Again, it's gonna be open this Saturday, or, I'm sorry, this Sunday um, at 11 o'clock sharp, and I would love to see you there. But I'm gonna take you around a little bit so we can kind of introduce you to this property and you can see what we're talking about. Um, I'm gonna take you outside. It's, it's kind of rainy outside right now, but I'm sure Sunday is gonna be perfect because that's when our open house is. Come on. So come out with me here. Oh yeah, nice little sprinkle. Okay. All right, so the front of the house has this really, really great screen porch. There's also another screen porch on the back of the house. So it kind of extends the living space so that it's even bigger than what it is. We've got the brand new roof and the roof is cool. It's kind of got beige and gray um, and different kinds of tans in it. So it goes really, really great with the colors. The hibiscus in the front are blooming right now. It's got these cute little white shutters. I don't know if you know this, but it's great to have at least three colors on a house because it really, really pops. And this house is so darling. Now, along the side here, we've got um, a carport, but it's not just like any old carport. This one's under roof. So if you decide that you would like to enclose this and make this a, a garage or you want to screen it or make it extra living space, you've already got the structure there. Um, so a lot of the expense is in the construction of the trusses and engineering, all that kind of stuff, and that's done. Um, the particular people that had this had a concessions trailer that they would hook up water. They've got power here, which is great if you have an RV or a boat. You can park it right here. They kind of put a, a, a stone base here for another driveway or for a ton of extra parking. If you know this is a three bedroom, two bath house, so if you've got teenager kids and a driveway full, and it's only a single car driveway like this. You know how hard it is to function in a single car driveway? So this gives you a lot of space and a lot of parking. Now let me show you the backyard. So the backyard is interesting. It has 
quite a drop off down here and they utilized this and made a, a above ground pool in it but if you didn't need a pool and they're putting in a, a new liner or getting a new liner estimate for this because you can see it's kind of down a little bit so this will be in good working order but if you don't want the pool if you have any bit of a green thumb this yard would be so cool terracing it cutting in you can put in um, watermelon and um, just different kinds of flowering plants and it would be gorgeous instead of just an old flat yard um, this could be really awesome or if you've got kids and they like slip and slide oh my gosh this would be the nicest slipping slide yard ever and then I like this back here there's a tree line buffer all the way around so you've got, even though you have neighbors in the back and on the side, you don't really notice them because of that. Okay, so let's go in through the back here and I'll show you the back porch. Now they recently put this indoor outdoor carpet on the, on the back concrete and it really softens it and makes it homey. And again, that extension of the living space. They've also got this area right here. This is, she uses this for crafting and doing little projects. I can see this great if you were a painter, uh, you like to do portraits or whatever, landscapes, you can sit here. It's got great lighting. You can set up your little studio right there and you've got places to wash your brushes out. Um, if you had a kiln and you like to do, um, I don't know, there's all kinds of things you could do back here. You could also use this for um, cookouts. The back has a lot of extra concrete back here. So this whole area could be a cornhole throwing area. You could have your grill back here. You could have a little patio set with an umbrella back here. Um, and then you've got this pass through so that you could pass through food back and forth and you could wash your hands, wash your utensils. It's really great. And then it's got all these nice cabinets. So, you know, setting all this up would probably cost you a couple thousand dollars, and it's already here. Lots of electric everywhere. Everywhere. All right, so let's go inside. Okay, so the cool thing about the inside is the kitchen. It is the centerpiece of the house. They've got one, two, three, four, five different stools in here. And I mean, you could wrap it around the other side too. So if you have a big family, can you imagine having Thanksgiving in this kitchen? You could have one, two, three, four, five. You could probably have six cooks in here working and not feel like you're getting in each other's way. The appliances, they've been upgraded. They're not this you know, the standard 1980s that you usually see in this price point. I love, love, love the bottom freezers because it gives you a lot of extra room up top. And then you can open up both of these doors and really see things. Um, it's got the ice and water through the door. And it's the Whirlpool Gold Series. So they're a little fancier. You can see it just kind of adds a little extra class, a little extra sparkle. Um, it makes your kitchen really come alive with stainless. And then this stove, oh my gosh. If you like to bake, let me tell you a little bit about the stove. Okay, so we've got an electric stove here. You've got one extra burner. This has got the warming center. So if you've made your food and you want, you know, you're going to be serving it through your army of people that's sitting here, you can keep something warm right here and not so warm that it's simmering. Just keep it nice and warm. And then you've got a rapid boil and a fast boil setting, which is pretty self-explanatory. But, you know, when you're cooking for a lot of people, it's nice for that super hot element to get the water going right away. You've got a lot of different settings. This is a, this was an expensive stove. And then the other thing I really like, I don't know if you guys have ever had a convection oven, but um, a convection oven has the fan in the back, which obviously just circulates the warm air. But if you're making cookies, you know how you always have to turn the cookies, the cookie thing around halfway through baking because 
one side or the other is getting hotter than the other. Well, you don't have to do that on a convection oven because it's circulating and creating the even baking. And then it's really great for casseroles because that hot air blowing over the top of it gives a nice crisp finish. Um, if you're making cookies, it kind of gives that crunchy on the outside, brownies too, crunchy on the outside and nice and warm in the middle. Um, excellent baking. These usually cost a couple hundred dollars more than a regular stove. So the person obviously that lived here must have liked to bake. You got a nice built-in microwave up here too, which is handy because it takes it off of the counter. We've already got a ton of counter space in here, but it's just handy. The cabinets are nice. They're real wood. Uh, I see a lot of times with the laminated cabinets, and maybe you've seen this too, on the edges, it starts to peel right there. And then it bubbles at the bottom. You don't have to worry about that with the nice wood cabinets. Plus, if you ever want to refinish them to a different color, you just got to sand them down and you can finish them. These are a lot more expensive than the laminated cabinets. So the fact that you've got this kind of a long lasting thing is really nice. Um, okay, so let's go into this space. Cause you, got, you kind of got two separate living areas. You got one right when you first walk in and then you've got the second one here, which I really like this because this is kind of the cozy section in here. And you've got a lot of wall space on this side, um, which if you wanted to put in a, like a sectional couch that would kind of wrap around on both sides, you could have a recliner, the couch, the extension on this side, and you could have even another extension on this side because you got plenty of room to get through here. You could have a ton of piling up. If you've got dogs or kids, everybody could pile up on this huge sectional. And then the wall space on this side is still large enough to put a good size TV. And it doesn't have to be in a human. You don't have a huge amount of space. So whatever you put there is going to fill the space nicely and it's going to be comfortable watching it. Now you've got three bedrooms in here. Let me show you those real quick. They all pretty much look the same, but some nice features are you've got the, the nicer doors this house probably came with those cheaper birch doors so it's nice to have the newer hardware and the nice new doors and the uh, white fans in here they all have closets um, this one you pick up a little mirror okay let me show you the master master is on the opposite side which gives you a little extra privacy and a little more quiet if you want to watch tv and the kids are already going to go to sleep you've got that little extra space there but this room is large enough that you can put a, a king size bed and i would suggest probably putting it on this wall so when you wake up you you know you're waking up to see an outside or if you put it on this side since this is the long side of the house then um, it'll the room will feel bigger if it's on this side then you could you still have plenty of room for nightstands on both Okay, so in the closet, you've got a walk-in closet. The bathrooms in this house, there's two of them. They've both been updated. They've got the nice tile in here. Kind of the newer European style with the long tile, which is really a great choice if you've got a typical 5 by 8 bathroom because it makes the room look bigger rather than having the squares. All right, so you've got the newer vanity, this cool little pineapple with lights, and then the shower. And then the other bathroom looks pretty similar. Similar flooring, and updated. And then this one's got a walk-in laundry area. Um, and I, th this is fantastic. You've got lots of shelves. You've got a shelf over the door. Um, so plenty of space to hang up clothes to dry. You've got plenty of space for a washer and dryer. And I think a really cool, um, one of those new, like the brushed gray would look fantastic along this floor, the front loading washer and dryers. It would look really cool. And then 
you know, if you left this door open, it would almost be a centerpiece for people when they come walking in because they could still see through this and if you kept it nice. Okay, so let's see. I think we've pretty much talked everything we can about the house. Um, again, we're going to be having an open house this Sunday. I've negotiated with the sellers to give you guys an amazing deal. They are willing to pay your closing cost. I have got a lender that has agreed to do a zero down loan. Um, call her today, get pre-qualified because when the open house comes, if you like the house and there's competition, you already want to have your stuff done. Otherwise, you're going to miss the boat by not having your pre-approval letter. Um, the payment on this, including taxes and insurance, is under $800 a month again. So <laughs> where are you going to rent a three-bedroom, two-bath house with no money down and move in in 30 days? Guys, this is, this is an amazing opportunity for you to help your family and to help start building wealth. Um, I don't know what else to say. I think this is great. I, I think the house is great. I think it's something that you could live in and not have to put a bunch of money into. Um, you definitely don't have to put a bunch of money into it moving in initially. And, you know, I care about you guys. I, I've done this for 13 years now, and I've seen, I've seen a lot of different houses sell. I've seen a lot of different people achieve their dreams in my favorite absolute favorite to work with are first-time home buyers they really appreciate the journey and i'm gonna get i'm gonna start crying they they just appreciate everything that we help them with and i i just i just think that this would be a, a wonderful a wonderful place for somebody so if you know somebody that would be interested in in this tag them in the post so they can see it i'm going to share it um if you think there might be friends of yours that could be helped by it um share it to your uh facebook feed and then they'll see it and it'll kind of get out there a little bit more we're gonna have an open house again this sunday at 11 o'clock sharp um, I've got the lender information that we're using for the zero down program in the post so you can call her and get pre-approved and then I've got my number on there too um, so today is Thursday you've got Friday and Saturday to get things lined up and ready okay um, guys if you need anything if you've got a house to sell um, if you've got a unique situation and you need to help to get get it worked through, let me know. I can help you. We've got staff that can help you. My number again is 863-446-0908. And today I want you to live an amazing life and achieve your goals. And if buying a house is one of those goals, I hope I'm the one to help you. All right. I will see you over and out.